Hello and welcome to today's adventure. Today I've got a Pokemon Celebrations Pikachu V Union box, and I'm really excited for it. I just got back into Pokemon cards not too long ago, and I haven't yet opened a V Union box, but now's as good a time as any for that. Now, the V Union concept has always kind of confused me for battle, because I think you have to discard them and then bring them back into your hand or bring them out of your discard pile to use them Are you sure about which that? is really confusing but regardless we've got some cool celebrations boosters in here as well as a battle styles and what looks like a darkness ablaze but we'll get to those in a second first let's just appreciate these pikachu v union cards themselves they look magnificent especially this little guy right here in the what middle the he's just an absolute mood he doesn't really fit in at all with the rest of the pikachu but we'll let it slide because he just looks so darn cute now hidden behind these guys is your online code as well as a professor burnett card this i suppose uh helps you bring your Pikachu V Union cards out of your discard pile, and then brings them into battle for you. Anyhow, we'll just set these aside and start getting to the main event, which of course are the booster packs, but we've also got the giant card here. Now, I'm a little confused as to what you're supposed to do with giant cards, because I can't really use them in play, and I don't have any good way to store them. Like, I probably have about six boxes, like just of these, with giant cards in them, because I don't want to just throw them around and damage them, so I just kind of keep them in their box as is. If you guys have any tips or suggestions, please leave a comment for me so I can know what to do. So we'll get our booster packs out, and we'll put the rest of the box aside for now. Now the set's a pretty small set, so there's not too much we can really hope for here, but I'd really like uh, flying or surfing Pikachu cards. I think those would be awesome. Or maybe we'll see a Rayquaza if we're lucky. Do you say Rayquaza or Rayquaza? Personally, I'm a Rayquaza guy, but we can always just say Ray Ray. So we'll start with the Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze, because we obviously want to save these uh, Celebrations boosters for last, saving the best for last, of course. So let's get started. Now, I'm not the best at opening Pokemon cards, I'll admit that right away, but this one opens super easily. So we'll put our wrapper aside, we'll put our code to the other side, and I always like to take the four from the back, move them forward, and go from there. So of course we have our basic energy card, we've got a familiar bell, Ariados, that's a pretty cool one, Flaffy, Galarian Darumaka, Carablast, Ducklet, Jigglypuff, always a classic, Trap Inch, I love the little knitted design, Bound Sweet, Galarian Darmanitan, and that's it. Not the best booster ever, but uh, we'll move on. I'm sure the Battle Styles one will be better, but my luck's never that great, so there's a good chance it's not any better whatsoever. So let's work on getting it open here. Like I said, I'm not that good at opening these, but I can still manage somehow. Once again, we put our green code to the side, take our four from the back, move them to the front, and we'll get started with our basic blue energy, a level ball, more peco, our tool jammer, scatterbug, Cubone, Murkrow, Tepig, Honedge, ooh, a nice Bisharp, and finally, or Beetle. Nice little holographic design there. Those maybe weren't the best boosters in the world, but now we've got our four celebrations packs, so maybe we'll get something really good in these. So there's only four cards in each one, and we'll just start at random and go through it. Now, like I said, I'm really hoping for maybe a Pikachu, uh, Flying Pikachu, Surfing Pikachu, or a Rayquaza. 
or Rayquaza, however you like to say it. We'll put our code card to the side and just get started. A nice Dialga. I love Dialga. So that's a really cool one to see. Cosmo. Pretty cool card, pretty cool design. Xerneas, another cool one. And Solgaleo. That is a really nice looking card. I really like Solgaleo. I played Pokemon Sun and then Ultra Moon. So pretty cool to see that guy. Now let's get started with our second Celebrations booster here out of four. And see if we can have maybe some slightly better luck this time. So we'll just try to get this open. There we go. We've once again got our nice code card here. And here we go with a nice Ho-Oh. Obviously a great card, great Pokemon, great classic Generation 2 Pokemon. Groudon, this card looks amazing. <laughs> We've got another Groudon, actually. Team Magma's Groudon. It's a nice classic card. I love to see that. Here comes and finally, oh. a Surfing Pikachu VMAX. Let's go. This is an awesome looking card and exactly one of the things I wanted. I'm really glad to have pulled that. It looks amazing. And everybody loves Pikachu, especially giant chonky Pikachu like this. But a nice card. That one is definitely going into my collection. I don't, like I said, have that many. I just recently got back into Pokemon. But getting something like that is easily one of the best of my collection currently. Now we'll move on to the next booster, but even if we don't get anything else, I'm happy. We'll put our code card to the side and we've got Cosmog. So now we can actually take our Cosmog, Cosmome and Solgaleo into battle with us. Next, we have another Xerneas. Not much to say. It's maybe slightly disappointing to get duplicates, but again, it's such a small set that it's expected. Dialga again, less disappointing for me. I love Dialga. And Zacian V, that's a nice one as well. Already, I've gotten more than I expected. So there's maybe not too much I can say about Zacian Z uh, V, sorry. I did play Pokemon Shield, not Sword, so he was not my choice. Sorry, Zacian. Now, finally, our last booster. Let's see if there's anything good left to open. All right, we'll put our code card to the side and get started with a nice Zekrom. That is a really good looking card. Then we've got another Cosmog. That's really good, actually, to get evolved. Hey, yo. Whoa. Holy Xerneas EX. What an amazing looking card. I'm just in awe right now. That is such a great card. It's great to see a nice EX full art card. And finally, Professor Oak. Well, guys, thank you for joining me on this adventure. I had a blast opening these cards. I hope you guys have your own adventures too. And hopefully you guys get just as good cards, if not better than what I just got. But enjoy your adventures, and I'll see you all next time.